<laughs> this is Ufish TV. I'm going to cut straight to the chase. Today, we have an iPhone to film with. All our cameras have been sent out to do jobs because here in Melbourne, we're under lockdown. We're only in the last few hours got permission to go out boating. So without mucking around, we're going boating, me and Dave. And we haven't got the cameras, but we've got this phone. Right, the reason we want to so keen to get out is a new addition to our boat. Have a look at that ginormous beast, V8. Wow. So yeah, we're gonna take it out there and give it a good old pounding. Six meter eating craft, 250 horsepower Merc V8 Pro XS. Fitted by Melbourne Marine, 100% ready to rock and roll. They've done their testing and this thing's gonna hum, hum along. The big difference between this and the Suzuki, 70 kilos lighter, yet we've gone from a four litre up to a 4.6 litre engine. And we've added two cylinders and probably a couple of hundred RPM. There's a lot to know about this engine that makes it special, but we'll cover that soon. Right now, let's get it launched. <laughs> oh my god. It sounds better than I imagined. You got no idea you got no idea how exciting this is for us. We've been talking about this for six months, this motor. Big shout out to Dave Meehan and the guys at Melbourne Marine. Dave Meehan's our mate for Merck. He set us up with this beast. Here's the thing guys, we've got to run it in so we can't go crazy with it because we've got to run it in. So apparently, in the, for the first two hours, every 10 minutes we get to go wide up and throttle for one minute. So that's the bit we're looking forward to. But for the first few minutes, we'll go easy and just sort of get build some heat into the engine. And for the first two hours, we're going to keep it pretty much under three quarter throttle. But this is our first experience. You're going to catch raw emotion. I'll even let you see my face quickly. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, so what I've noticed is that old transducer is making a bit of turbulence wash off the left there, so we'll piss that off. The old lower transducer yeah. was making a bit of a turbulence, so that's why we're not going to K off. So that's it, that's as much as we can go for the first 10 minutes. Uh, so you're still on the plane now? Well, that's, what speed's that? 22. Oh my god. 22. On the plane at 22, all right? One, two, three, give it to it, Dave! Holy crap! Trim it up, old boy! Woo! <laughs> that is crazy! Crazy! Oh my god, look how fast it's going! No way! No way! Oh, and a half k 
dollars an hour with 300 litres of fuel. I weigh, me and Dave between us are 300, nearly 300 kilos. And so we only quickly gave it a, a bit of a run. There's no tide assistance, we're on the tide chain. So, we nearly, went, we nearly went outside our 5K zone then. <laughs> it's a little, that's so far. Even lower. Oh my god, it's planing. What speed is that? We're planing at 28. So that, I tell you why that's important for this boat. When it's really, really rough and you've got 80 k's to travel, you can set that speed and forget and just travel in for hours at a nice safe speed. Before, you're always going too fast. Slow down, pull off the plane, fall off the plane. Horrible. So this has got variable torque control through an electronic sparking or timing system that creates maximum torque at every RPM of the rep range. So no matter how slow we go, well he's gone slower. How slow have you gone now? 27. Doesn't matter what speed you go, it stays on the plane, it keeps the torque there. That's really good. This is, so the Suzuki we had was a bloody awesome engine. Reliable, yeah. Yeah, hell of an engine. Absolutely nothing wrong with it, but when it was time to repower, um, and we bought this engine, so this isn't a plug at all. We bought it because it was the best thing on the market. When it came to re time to repower, we just couldn't ignore the amount of money and research that Mercury put into these new engines. And it's got that V8 grunt. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. 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 Yeah, that's what I was talking about was well known as a big fish raiser. The one thing we were worried about was when we took the Suzuki off, it wouldn't get as many game fish up. Well, if you can hear that engine in the background there, I reckon she's gonna do just fine. It sounds like a big thumping V8, almost like you'd have on a trawler or a, a big game boat. And uh, game fish tend to associate those trawlers and stuff with a food source, because they're throwing scraps over the side. You know, it, it might not be a real thing, but you know, it's just one of those things that we like to have in our favour. And I reckon that sounds great. So we get a lot of people ask us what this boat is. She's a six metre Eden craft. Um, we've also got Tilly, the Tiller Steer Kitty. So we've got both boats. We're going to do an episode coming up where we're going to run right through both the boats and why they're ideal for what we do. They are our ultimate two, two fishing rigs. We're going eight days down backwards. Excellent. All my beautiful leaves I kept in the transom are escaping though. You don't want that. <laughs> That's a big dog. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that. That's not wimpy drag either. That's BD. It's not MD Mega Dog. It's just your classic big dog. You might have a follower. You might have a follower, but I'm all tangled up with weed. That's, That's the Shimano. Um, road. Shimano. Oh, he's only on the two little. Oh, look at him. Big dog. Uh, get him up in that sunlight, so you can spin him up the right way in that sunlight. There we go. Looks magnificent. Hold him out the side of you. Get the sun coming through and pop, 
falling forward. Look at the colours on that. There we go. Nice fish, mate. Yeah, for a motor test, that's not too bad. Yeah. Calamari. Yeah. <laughs> it's exciting times ahead, Dave. Yes. We're only a matter of minutes from fishing properly in this port.